Hey, what's up guys? We're back today as Apple has already seeded out a new iOS 12 beta, this time being iOS 12.1.3 beta one to registered developers. And like always, do not update to this software if you are intending on jailbreaking. Now, the reason why this beta is rather particular in this case is because it contains information and content that was actually designed for iOS 12.1.2 that was just released a couple of days ago but it actually was rushed out to the public to fix some major and important changes. Just go to software update. I've yet to install the beta profile as of yet, but as you guys can see in the United States, there's just these two things right here that this addresses. Well, if you take a look at the share sheet in China, it actually has a few extra little additions right here. This is for iOS 12.1.2. It says it introduces a new animation when force closing apps and updates to share sheet for sharing contact and wallpaper images. So just a few extra updates right here, but these two updates are very important as to why they were pushed. Now, apparently Apple pushed iOS 12.1.2 to the public. They rushed it out to fix these two emergency fixes. Now, why were they emergency fixes? They don't seem like that big of a deal. Well, apparently on December 10th, so just about a week ago, a Chinese court made the decision that Apple actually did infringe on two Qualcomm patents, one related to the app switcher and one related to the share sheet. So that is why those two major fixes were actually just implemented in China and it was included in the iOS 12.1.2 update. And so that's why we really only got one beta of this software and then it was released to the public. Well, fast forward two days after that was released, we now have iOS 12.1.3, which now supposedly includes all of the actual updates that iOS 12.1.2 was supposed to have. So this is yet the other minor update. Again, really not too much is going on with this one. Still, there's really no new features. It's just under the hood improvements and security enhancements. So nothing still to get too excited about. I just thought it was really interesting with what was going on with the legal side of things. But it's really interesting taking a look at the new animation when force closing apps on the Chinese version of iOS 12.1.2. This video was actually shared out and uh, it looks like now the apps actually shrink into themselves and kind of fade away instead of just swiping up off the screen on the top, which that animation right there is apparently what violated one of Qualcomm's patents. So that's what uh, Apple had to change. It'll be interesting to see if anybody shares what the new share sheet looks like, because that probably was changed a little bit to no longer violate these copyright rules. Anyway, that's the major reason why uh, iOS 12.1.2 was pushed so quickly to the public um, because it included these changes um, and then had to basically make another update being 12.1.3. It really surprised me today. I thought Apple was just going to jump the gun and start pushing iOS 12.2 out to the public and ditch these point of a point updates, at least to 0.3. Last year, iOS 11 went to 11.1.2. We never saw 11.1.3 if I recall correctly, but um, yeah, here we are guys. iOS 12.1.3, this marks the fourth beta for iOS 12 being released to date, so not too many, which is actually a good sign that iOS 12 is working correctly and there aren't too many bugs and errors with it. But anyway, very lastly, if you guys are interested and do want to install this, check the link in the cards now or down below in this video's description for this guy right here. This is the iOS 12 developer beta profile. Basically, you go to this link, you click download right here, and then you're gonna go ahead and click allow, and install, install, install. And then you're gonna go ahead and restart. And this is going to install the iOS 12 beta software profile, and this is actually the developer beta software profile, not the public one. Um, so you will get developer beta updates. Anyway, once that profile is installed, you're gonna go ahead and do a quick reboot. And once we're back online, now we should just be able to go into settings, general software update, let it check for an update, and there we go, guys. iOS 12.1.3. Actually, that's really interesting. It says developer beta two. That's hilarious. So this pretty much is just an extension and a continuation of iOS 12.1.2. It's really interesting what Apple did here now. That is funny. I've never seen developer beta two before developer beta one. 
But in any case, that's the reasoning why is this is pretty much just an extension of the features that were supposed to come in iOS 12.1.2 before Apple had to push that so uh, immediately, basically, they had to rush it to the public. Um, anyway, guys, if you do want to install it, just click download and install for those looking for iOS 12 beta softwares. But um, this one's not too interesting, so I don't see too many people looking to do that. And again, if you guys want to jailbreak, definitely avoid this software, avoid iOS 12.1.2, and avoid iOS 12.1.1. Try to stay on iOS 12.1 and below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video. Definitely subscribe and hit that thumbs up button if you want to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking news. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.